Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello good evening, Daniel. teacher. Hello, hello, Rocio. Hello, Iris. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Ingrid. Hello, Raquel, Elizabeth, Eric, Julio Cesar. Hello. It's a to have you here, my dears. I'm very happy because we are about to finish this uh, pre-intermediate. Uh, so this week, we are going to complete the section number five. And uh, you will be ready um, to complete the final exam in order to pass your model and start next model as soon, as soon as we can, okay? So I congratulate you because we are about to finish. For today, I'm going to share with you the platform in order that you can see what part we are going to be working with. And here, you can see the fine point, let me see. Yes, 5.5 lesson objective. Can you watch my screen? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. It says, the verbs tell and ask. Uh, the lesson objective is the verb tell and ask will be introduced in a conversation between two people talking on the phone, right? Uh, so uh, this is going to be uh, the topic for tonight. And in the platform, you have the 5.6 conversation. Can, can I take a message, right? So um, tomorrow we are going to talk about um, how to be polite during a phone, a phone call and how to ask and offer help from people. And in this case, we are going to review some model auxiliaries like can. Can I take a message? Uh, how can I help you? Uh, would you like that I uh, take a message for him or for her, depending on the person they are asking for, and maybe the person is not on the place, so you have to offer help in order to, uh, the, that the person can leave a message. So we are going to practice all the phone etiquette by tomorrow, and for today we are going to focus on these three verbs that are quite uh, similar, but uh, a little bit different. So. Uh, we are going to cover 5.7 lesson objective that says, by the end of this session, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask. So we are going to practice this. And again, uh, you have in the platform the 5.8 video that, me that says messages with tell and ask. So what I, I recommend you is to go to the platform and uh, listen uh, the video and then you will have more information about these two verbs. So uh, later we will have the knowledge check, but this is going to be at the end of the class. By now, I would like to show you the presentation that I have for you. So I'm going to stop sharing and let me go. Okay, yes. Um, can you watch my new screen? Yes. yes. Okay, excellent. So it says using say, tell, ask in English, okay? We use say uh, to say, <laughs> no matter the, the repetition, to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, uh, to say something to someone, to say nothing, uh, to say so, to say a few words, to say no more, for sure, for certain, uh, a prayer, yes, no. Uh, for example, when we have little kids and we are teaching them how to greet uh, other people, uh, normally they don't, they don't uh, talk to strange people because you have told them that, that way. But when there's a person that you know, you say, uh, baby, say hello to your auntie. Baby, say hello to my friend. Say hello to my, um, to grandma, or to grandpa, right? Um, or you can say, uh, they left and they didn't say uh, nothing. Or uh, they came and they didn't say good morning, right? Uh, or sometimes we can say, excuse me, do you have some minutes I would like to say uh, a few words to you, okay? Say, I'm using the word say. Uh, tell, uh, 
I tell somebody uh, somebody one's name, I'm going to tell you my name, right? Uh, I'm going to tell you the way how to go to uh, my office. Uh, tell somebody so, tell a secret, tell a joke, tell a lie, tell uh, one from another, tell someone's fortune, tell a story, right? Every night I tell a story to my, to my little girl. Uh, I'm going to tell the difference between one product and the other. Um, the, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the time. I'm going to tell your name. Okay, what about the verb ask? I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a favor. I'm going to ask you the price of the product. I'm going to ask you the time. I'm going to ask after somebody. I'm going to ask around, ask for something, ask for somebody, ask for advice, ask for directions, ask for permission, ask somebody out, ask about, okay? So these three verbs are very similar, but as I said before, they are quite different. So we will, uh, explain a little bit more here, excuse me. So let me hide this, okay. The difference between say and tell. Say is used to report someone's direct speech. For example, if I want to mention, uh, I can say, uh, I, I, I can say this. Uh, this morning, uh, the health minister said that we need to be careful and follow all the preventive measures for COVID-19 when we go back uh, and, uh, to the normal day-by-day uh, -day basis work. So I'm saying what the, the health minister said. So I'm just like using quotations, right? Es como estoy diciendo entre comillas lo que alguien dijo, ¿verdad? Uh, and I'm using the example uh, that I use, say hello to your aunt. I'm literally saying what you have to say to your aunt. Hello, say hello. Okay, tell. I use tell uh, along with orders and advices and also an indirect speech. Uh, example, 13 told me the exact location, right? What well, Sachin, Sachin told me the exact location of a direction maybe. So say versus tell. You say something to someone. Helen said, I love you. If you see there's a quotation, I love you to her dad. So I'm repeating exactly what Helen said to uh, her dad. She said, I love you. Rand says, uh, he has a new job. So I'm reporting directly what uh, Rand says. I said that I was sorry. What did I say? That I was sorry. To tell someone something. Uh, this is tell, right? Helen told her dad that she loved him. So in this case, I'm not saying exactly the words. I'm just repeating, right? I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing what Helen told her dad. Ra told me that he has a new job. I told Yuki that I was sorry. The exceptions to tell a joke, to tell a joke, to tell a story, to tell the truth or to tell a lie, which is the opposite, right? He told a joke. She tells good stories. Uh, they told a lie. I always tell the truth. Okay, again, say hello, say good morning, say uh, af good afternoon, uh, say something, say nothing, say so, say a few words, say no more, say for sure or certain, tell a story, uh, tell a lie, tell a joke, tell a secret, tell the truth. Tell the time, 
tell the difference? Tell someone your name or tell someone the way or tell someone's fortune. Ask a question, ask a favor, ask the price, ask the time, ask for something, ask after somebody, ask around. In Spanish, say sería el equivalente a decir, ¿verdad? Tell, el equivalente a contar, ¿verdad? Contar una historia, una mentira, una broma, un secreto, la verdad, el tiempo, contar una diferencia, eh, etc. Normally, when we use say, decimos literalmente, ¿verdad? Casi entre comillas lo que la otra persona dijo, ¿verdad? Pero en cambio, cuando yo uso tell, ya estoy haciendo una parafraseado de lo que la otra persona dijo. Ya no es tan literal, ¿verdad? Y ask me sirve para pedir o preguntar. This verb has two meanings. Meanings, right? Pedir, like request, or eh, ask a question, preguntar, ¿verdad? In this case. So, I apologize eh, because they're just... Eh, They are very small letters, but I will try to read it for you. And of course, this is going to be in the material that I will share. I will share this material to you. But I like it because here you can see the difference between tell, say, speak, and talk, right? If you see, I'm adding the verb speak, which is also similar, but quite different. So here, To tell, uh, the, the meaning is to give information. So just let me, just let me, excuse me. Just let me show you. Solo quiero mostrarlo en la barra. Para que ustedes puedan ver un poquito mejor. So let me expand my view. Okay. Um, tell. Just wait a minute for me. Okay. T to tell. To tell, um, to give information to a person, right? To give information to a person. To say, to speak words. That means to say, to speak words. Speak is with languages or talking in general. And when I use talk, I'm referring to use spoken language or to express oneself. Examples. Tell plus indirect object. Tell me about the movie. I told you about the party. Have you told him the news? Uh, another example. To tell a lie. I never been good at telling lies. When you use this example, you have to say at. I never been good at mathematics, at, um, let's see, language, at science, or at telling lies. To tell a story. She never tells the story twice. Tell. We use tell plus prepositions. Uh, tell plus two. Uh, for example, uh, order or strong request. I told you buy me some food, right? I'm like, yes. Complaining, right? Just um, uh, asking what, almost why you didn't do that. Did uh, I didn't tell you to? Uh, didn't tell you to mind your own business? Didn't I tell you to mind your own business? Uh, let me tell you about a boy I know. This is to tell about events events which happened to a person. So. It's like telling a story, right? Tell plus that. It means actions or permanent situations. They told me that I'd better arrive early. Also, we can use tell with a WH. The speaker told me these facts uh, hadn't come to light before. Um, tell plus two plus the infinitive, which is equals to imperative meaning. Tell, uh, tell him to, f to bring the car in front of the house. Tell everyone to come in my office 
in my office right now. So it's like an order, right? Like an imperative. I'm uh, requesting to do so. Say, say something. Mary says she doesn't like chocolate. Say that or something. John said that he had received some good news. Say something to a person. What did the teacher say to you when you failed the test? It's like, tell me literally what the teacher said. Say plus two plus indirect object. You said something to me about going to a movie this week. Remember? He said, good morning to me. He said to me that he was sorry. Say plus prepositions. Say plus two plus that. I said to him that I couldn't go. He said to him that he was going to be late. Say, uh, to Jim, sorry. In this case, it's to Jim, not to him, to Jim. Say equals to imperative. My father always said to put your best foot forward. Why should you stop seeing him? Because I said so. Say plus reported speech. He said he was ill. He said he was going to be late. Speak, okay? I used to speak to talk about languages or talking in general. I speak English. Does she speak German? How many languages do you speak? Emma is going to speak in front of hundreds of people. I need to speak to you about a new project. Speak plus two plus index object. My advisor spoke to me about a, grad a graduate school program. You ought to speak to me about applying for a scholarship. Speak plus prepositions. Speak to about. Did you speak to him about the new, our new project? Speak plus with. Have you ever spoken English with an Australian? They speak with a really strange accent. Speak plus direct object. Speak the truth, speak kind words, speak English. Talk, to use a spoken language to express oneself. Are you talking to me? I was talking to him about the novel. This month, this month, uh, I mean, this man, excuse me, this man talks forever. It means that it's very talkative. Talk, 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 talk. Uh, talk plus preposition. Talk to or about. I need to talk to you about last night. Did he talk to you about his trip? Okay, so uh, that's the uh, small difference between tell, say, speak, and talk. Okay, do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí, chicos? Yo sé que es un poquito tricky, ¿verdad? Todos los verbos, pero we need to look for the examples. Necesitamos ver los ejemplos, ¿verdad? That's why I like very much this chart, because it gives you the way you have to use uh, tell, say, speak, and talk. So let me continue. Okay. Reporting verbs say plus tell. Now is your turn to practice. And here it says, complete the sentences with said or told. In this case, if you see the verbs are in, in past, right? Said is the past of say, and told is the past of tell. So what I will, what I will do is to, say, to send you this, right? I'm going to send you this, and I would like that you can complete the exercise by using right, the right form of say or tell. In this case, the exercise is not using um, any of the other verbs that I'm, I'm sharing with you tonight. So we are going to focus only on say and tell. So I'm going to share with you this uh, picture and the exercise picture for you to complete it. So let me go. Okay, and then 
we are going to work with this. If you can take a picture, it's okay. If not, I'm sending to you right now. Okay. Okay, so the exercise is to complete these 10 sentences using say or tell, uh, right? Uh, but you have to use uh, said or told, in this case, the past tense, right? So I would like to ask if you have questions, tenemos preguntas on what we are going to do? Is everything clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. excellent, excellent. So I'm going to invite you to go to the breakout rooms now and join and please do the practice. Sí, ya, ya la vi. Uh -huh. Daniel, hello. Hi. Daniel. Hello. Hello. Ok. Hello. Uh, number one, Daniel. Oh. <laughs> I'm not ready. Uh, uh, number one is say. Ser, ser. Say. Uh, I say hello ser, to him. Ser. I said, sería en pasado, past. I said. I said. Uh, hello. I said uh -huh. a ah, poner el 6 o el tel de las de lo que estamos viendo. Ok. Is everything ok? Hello. Okay, entonces solo miremoslo. No, teacher. Ok, excelente. So I leave you in order that you can work. Ok. Ok. See you. See you, teacher. Uh-huh. Um, uh, yes. yes. Hello, hello, hello. Is everything okay? Yes, uh, teacher. Sí. Everything okay, is okay. Teacher. Okay, excellent. See you in a couple of minutes, okay? Okay. See you. Okay. Number three. Number three, okay. I tell her okay. that she was a good student. Mm. What do you think? Hello, sir. No hello, hello. Is everything okay? Teacher, um, from my platform, um, final exam part B. Okay. Uh, what, what, what's your question? Excuse me. Um, um problem part B exam The the part B, I cannot the ID, I cannot get the ID. Excuse me. Okay. Um, yo tengo problemas en la parte final del examen, la parte B. Ah, ok, the final exam, right? Uh -huh. El examen final, ¿sí? Sí. Ok, uh, if you prefer, uh, you can uh, write to me directly to the chat and I can help you with the problems you have right after the class. Ok. Right? So I can I can assist you directly to you. Uh, you send me the image of the of the exercise you're having the problem, and I can guide you. Okay. 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 Excellent, excellent, Alison. Okay, I would like to ask you if you have questions regarding to the exercise. No. Um, no. Okay, excellent. So I leave you in order that you can work together. Okay. 
Okay. The buses were full. Uh huh. He. So, yes. Oh, uh, in este caso, he told. Well, he okay. told to them be to, be be careful. to be careful. Uh huh. The adults. Um. <coughs> sería. The adults say. 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 Tell mm -hmm. the children yeah. to be quiet. Hello, how is it going? Hello, teacher. Teacher, um, mm -hmm. I have a question for the number six. Oh, number no, six. four, 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 four. Number four. Okay, tell me. Tell me about number four. Tengo uh, duda porque se repite day. Day? No, day. sorry. There's a mistake. I'm sorry. It's they told them. They were very sorry. Uh, it's them. I'm sorry. You're right. There's a mistake there. They and sick. the next is them. 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 Sí. Them. The first es como they. Ellos, ellos le dijeron a ellos, ¿verdad? They told mm -hmm. them. They told, eh, they told them. Eh, lo que pasa es que ahí falta un them. Ese de ahí está bien. They were very sorry. Es como que ellos le dijeron a otros ellos, ¿verdad? Que, que lo sentían mucho. Entonces ahí hace falta, no es que ese day está malo, sino que antes de ese day debe haber un dem. Um, uh -huh. Teacher, in the exercise, uh, complete with the sentence, uh -huh. say, say and tell o said, said and told. Said and told. Vamos a utilizar el pasado. Uh -huh. el pasado. Porque okay. si, si utilizamos el pasado, entonces they said, ahí sí, es correcto. They said they were very sorry. Ellos dijeron que lo sentían mucho. Ah, ok. Pero si fuera presente, como usted me lo planteaba, ahí sí nos haría falta el them. They, eh, they, 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 sí, they tell, they tell them they were very sorry. Sí. Ok. Pero si utilizamos eh, el otro, ¿verdad? Eh, en este caso, told, pero vamos a utilizar... Eh, they told them they were very sorry. Les dijeron que eh, lo sentían mucho, pero aquí lo vamos a tomar okay. como say, porque eh, es como literal, ¿verdad? ¿Qué fue lo que les dijeron? They were very sorry. Entonces vamos a utilizar mejor say, pero en el pasado. ¿Sí? Ok. Nos quedaría, okay. They, they said they were very sorry. Ellos dijeron they were very sorry, casi entre comillas, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. que lo sentían mucho uh -huh. ok ok, vamos a utilizar los pasados en este caso ok excelente ok, okay you're welcome you're welcome person Y al decir que ella era uno de los clientes, es una información de algo, de esa persona. Uh -huh. sería y traducido, ¿cómo sería? I told, I told her that she was a good student. Uh -huh. bueno. Hello, is everything Hello. okay? Which number are you working with? ¿Por qué número van ya, chicos? Oh, number four. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. You do your best. Okay? Okay. okay. I'll give you, let's see, I'll give you two more minutes. Okay? So just continue advancing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you.
Permítame que lo vea ahorita. Hello, hello, is everything hello, okay? Teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Yes, uh, we have. Sí, yes. Uh, yes, we we have a question. In, okay, I understand. Uh, mm -hmm. We we use tell mm -hmm. uh, before a pronoun. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, we use tell mm -hmm. uh, before. For example, in number three, I tell her uh, he's out. Tell him. But if we don't have a pronoun, we use say. For example, for example, I say hello to him. Eh, we normally, o, o no estoy equivocado. Eh, it depends on what you're transmitting, right? Depende de lo que estamos transmitiendo. Eh, en la laminita que les mandé, eh, say eh, es para decir literal, ¿verdad? Lo que, lo que dijimos, hello, good morning, good afternoon, etc. Y tell es cuando decimos no tanto lo, lo que literalmente, casi entre comillas, dijimos, sino que eh, más en qué consistió lo que dije, un parafraseo, ¿verdad? Yo dije una historia, una mentira, una broma, un secreto, pero no digo literalmente qué decía la historia, o qué decía la mentira, o qué decía la broma, ¿sí? Eh, es, un, es un parafraseo de lo que dije, pero no literal. En cambio, cuando uso say, es porque es literal lo que estoy diciendo, ¿sí? Entonces, para el caso del número 3, dice... I, hey. no, I told her that, oh, uh, la, la otra, la otra clue que ustedes pueden utilizar eh, es que cuando, siempre que utilizo tell, si ustedes vieron los ejemplos que yo les di, siempre utilizamos that, le dije que, porque ya no estoy transmitiendo literal, casi entre comillas, sino que estoy parafraseando lo que yo dije, entonces, ah, es que yo le dije que me gustaba, pero no dije literalmente, es que yo le dije, mira, a mí me gusta mucho el regalo que me diste. Ajá. Entonces, ¿ven la diferencia? Eh, utilizamos say para decir casi entre comillas literal lo que yo le dije, repetirlo exactamente tal cual. Pero cuando yo uso tell, ya utilizo mi auxilio de that, porque ese that implica que, le dije que. Y parafraseo lo que le dije, aunque no lo repito literal, tal cual lo dije en su primer momento. ¿Sí? Ok. Entonces, para el Entonces, caso del número tres es, I told her, como estamos utilizando el pasado, okay. sería told. I told her that she was a good student. Le dije que ella era una buena estudiante. ¿Y por qué tiene que ser told? Para que haga congruencia con el was. Le dije que ella era una buena estudiante. Sí. Okay. Entonces, en la. Uh, en number five. Eh, his own eh, told him not to okay. eat so uh, many sweets. Ok. Sí. Okay. Eh, teacher, y tenemos otra pregunta. Adelante. En el número cuatro, ten, vemos que they se repite. They. Fíjense que estuvimos discutiendo este caso con el otro grupo. Si fuera presente. Ahí le hace falta un them, porque tendría que decir. Ah, ok. They, they, they uh, said, they said, um, no, si, si utilizáramos el, el, el tell, por ejemplo. They tell them they were they very sorry. Them. They tell them okay. they were very sorry. Okay. Pero como teacher. estamos utilizando el pasado, vamos a decir, they told they were very sorry. They told, they were very sorry. ¿Verdad? Pero eh, ese tell, ese told es, es eh, cuando yo utilizo that. Entonces ahí vamos a, a utilizar mejor they said. They said, they were very sorry. Porque eh, estamos diciendo literal qué fue lo que dijeron, ¿verdad? Ok. They, they said, say. They said, said. Pasado, said. Ah, ok. Present, they said. Say. Pasado said, they, said, they said, said, they were very they sorry. Were very sorry. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. And the number eight teacher, the adults The say, adults said the children to be the quiet. The children to be quiet. Ok. Yes. 
Yes, okay. eh, porque estamos transmitiendo literalmente lo que dijimos. Ok, en la número 9, he said she was late. She said she was late. She said, ah, entonces todos serían pasados. Todos son pasados, sí, todos son pasados. Por oh, eso es que okay. no le hacía sentido la number 3, ¿verdad? Porque okay. usted no pensó en presente y en presente sí hace falta el them. Eh, no, en el, right, en, el, sure. en el number 4, en el number 4 hacía falta un them si fuera presente, pero como es pasado... Mm. Está bien. They said they were very sorry. Ok, my okay, dear. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, excellent. See you in a couple of minutes, ok? See you. See you. Hello, hello. Welcome back. People is going to join us in 52 seconds in order to continue uh, in the plenary solving the exercise. So it has been very interesting to uh, now to learn how to use these verbs because they are very similar but quite different as I said at the beginning. So uh, I'm going to write the answers that you can provide and then we will correct, okay? So I would like that each team can help me, can help me at least with one answer each member. So number one, who wants to start? I said. Hey. Julio. Okay, Julio says our team. Okay, I, I said, said, I said. I said hello to him. Yes. Hello to him. Yes, I said. Right. Remember that we are using the past. Pass of say, said. Pass of tell, told, right? So um, I right. said hello to him. And it's the quotation. It's literally what he said. Okay, okay. number two. So, okay, so, okay. So let's see. Luis, so let's see how it, it is. Luis told. The was going away Tom, for the weekend. He was going away for the weekend. Okay, told. Do you think it's told? I think it is said. Said, ¿verdad? Sí, es said, porque está casi diciendo literal lo que dijo, ¿verdad? Okay. Le, le voy a dar ahorita otro clue. Luis said he was going away for the weekend. Eh, Ve veamos la number three, ahí les explico. Ok, number three. Who wants to, to solve number three? Toe. Yeah. Ok, toe. Oh. Ah. Ok, oh. vean. <risa> so, eh, siempre que utilizamos eh, tell or toe, utilizamos este that. Esa es una, una clave para que ustedes sepan. I told her that she was a good student. Estoy repitiendo lo que le dije, pero ese that implica que lo estoy parafra paraphrasing, lo estoy parafraseando. Ya no estoy diciendo literalmente lo que dije, sino que eh, estoy parafraseando, ¿verdad? Y eh, tiene que ser pasado en, este en todos los casos porque, vean, Luis said he was. I told her that she was. Pasado. Entonces tiene que haber concordancia, ¿verdad? Entre ambos verbos. I told her that she was a good student. Entonces, cuando yo tengo este that, significa estoy utilizando to, porque estoy contando lo que le dije, más no diciendo literalmente, ¿verdad? Entre comillas. Number four. Who wants to, to, to say number four? Vamos, hagámoslo así. Ok. Ya no, no vamos por equipo, por el tiempo todavía nos hace falta uno. Ok. Vean, este eh, lo discutimos con dos teams. Why? Because if you think in present, eh, there's a them missing, right? Si lo vemos en presente, ahí tendría que decir, they, eh, they, eh, so, si utilizáramos eh, tell, for example, they tell them they were very sorry. Ahí me hace falta un them. Pero como estamos utilizando un pasado, y además, eh, no tenemos un that que implique que estamos parafraseando algo. Y además, they were very sorry. Entonces, está diciendo lo que literalmente dijeron. Entonces, 
they said, they said they were very sorry. Ellos dijeron que lo sentían mucho. ¿Verdad? Están trasladando literalmente lo que dijeron. Ok, let's see number five. He's on, oops, sorry. Ok, just move one in order to avoid that the others move. Ok, he's on set. Send him not to eat so many sweets. Mm -hmm. His aunt said him. Yeah. Or told him. Or said him. A ver. ¿Qué piensan? Es said, ¿verdad? His aunt said him not to eat many sweets. Su abuela le dijo. ¿Qué le dijo? No coma muchos dulces. Literal, ¿verdad? Lo que le dijo. Es así. Ok, so let's see, they, ajá, said or tell, so, perdón, tell. So, 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 ajá, ahí tenemos el dad, ¿verdad? They told that the buses were full, right? So it's told, because I'm paraphrasing and I'm using that. Okay. Uh, he told them or said them to be careful. He said. He said. Okay, he said them to be very careful. Okay, so let me. Okay, the adults. The adults said or said. told. Said. Said, right? Said the children to be quiet, literally. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he. So let me just move this. He. Oh, she was. She said that she said she was late. Literally. Ella dijo, llegué tarde. Ella dijo, llegué tarde. Okay. The shop. Assistant said or told the clients that the shop was going to close. Oh. Told. Told. Okay. The shop assistant told the clients that she, the shop was going yeah. to close. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's let's compare. Uh, oops. Okay, say hello, good morning, good afternoon, something, nothing, so a few words, no more, for sure, certain, literally. What we tell, a story, a lie, a joke, a secret, the truth, the time, the different, someone your name, someone the way, someone fortune, right? Okay, so remember, keep in mind that, okay? So let's, let's work with uh, these other exercises. Complete the right form of say or tell. Her eyes. She wasn't happy. What do you think? Um, en este say. caso es presente, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Say. Vamos a agarrar uno de acá. Okay. In this case, it's say or tell. Say, say. I think it's say. Okay. So, wait. Un segundo que. Estamos. No creo que son chicos, pero vamos a intentar hacer lo más fácil. Okay. Her eyes. He was, pero en este caso de nuevo vamos a utilizar said en pasado porque el verbo está en pasado. So her eyes said she was unhappy. Was. Said, right? She said. Excuse me. Do. Can uh, you tell? Tell. Yes. tell me. Tell me. Tell. The, time, the time. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, excuse me, can you tell me 
Can you tell me the time? I'm asking, right? Uh, for the time. And remember that the time is part of the time. Tell the time. Okay, please, could you? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Say, es como lo puede repetir literalmente. De nuevo. O sea, ¿Qué me dijo, verdad? ¿Qué me dijo? Lo puede decir de nuevo. Entonces es repetir literalmente lo que ya me había dicho. Entonces, please, could you say that again? Right? Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. It's going to be very small piece of. Okay. You should always the truth. Tell, 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 verdad? Decir la verdad. No sabemos cuál literalmente es la verdad, pero usted siempre debe decir la verdad. Okay. Uh, will you say? Say me now. Will you say me now to do it? How to? Will you say how to do it? Aha. Uh -huh. As let's see. Instel. Someone the way. Instel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Instel, verdad? Decirle a alguien la forma, eh, contarle o decirle la forma. Eh, de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Okay, 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 so, will you tell me how to do it? Right? Mm. ¿Me puedes contar eh, cómo hacerlo? Ok, do you prayers every night? No quiero. Tell, uh, tell. Tell. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, uh -huh. Hello, good morning. Say. Ok. A story, a lie, a joke, a secret, the truth, the time, the difference, someone, your name, someone, the way, someone's fortune. See here, hello, good morning, good afternoon, something. Okay, it, tell. Eh, porque say eh, es literal, de nuevo. Y tell, una prayer, es como decir, eh, to tell a story or to tell a secret. I don't know exactly what the prayer is going to be. O sea, no puedo saber exactamente qué dice la oración, ¿verdad? Eh, en ese caso vamos a utilizar uh -huh. eh, did, you tell, did you tell prayers every, eh, every night? ¿Verdad? Eh, este es como eh, decir una oración o, o contar una oración cada noche. Sin embargo, podemos eh, decir que también se puede utilizar say. Do you say prayer? Porque también prayers, ya sabemos que puede ser literal. ¿Qué es un prayer? Un padre nuestro, ¿verdad? Eh, entonces, normalmente, cuando, cuando utilizamos prayers, aunque parece eh, tell, ¿verdad? A story, a light, a joke, a secret. En realidad, un prayer, como ya sabemos lo que dice, Casi ya sabemos cómo, cómo nos antiguamos, ¿verdad? Por decirlo así en la noche, es say. Do you say prayers every night? Entonces, es un poco tricky esta, ¿verdad? Pero en ese caso es say. Ok, vamos a ver. Pero la, la vamos probando para que usted la vaya identificando. En number seven, I think is tell. Everything you know about the accident. Sí, es tell. Porque ahí sí ya estoy contando algo que no sé exactamente qué va a ser. Details. ¿Ok? Tell me everything you know about, eh, about the accident. ¿Ok? Aquí hace falta algo, ¿verdad? Can you tell me everything about the accident? Ok. Uh, number eight. Vamos a ver cuánto tiempo nos queda. I can say or tell you how pleased I am. I think it's tell. Yes. I can't tell you how pleased I am. No te puedo decir lo agradado que estoy. ¿Verdad? Eh, literal, no tengo palabras para say. ¿Verdad? Entonces, so I cannot tell. <laughs> can't tell. Don't believe everything he has to. 
to say. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. Has to say, ¿verdad? Lo que literal, no creas lo que literalmente te diga, ¿verdad? No. Don't believe everything he has to say. Ok, number 10. What do you have, what, what have you got to? What, what have you got to tell or say for yourself? ¿Qué tienes que decir? Como, ¿qué tell, tienes que decir? Tell. Tu favor. Tell. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso es, eh, literalmente, ¿qué me va a decir usted a su favor? Eh, como cuando estamos en la comisaría, ¿verdad? Ajá, ¿qué tiene que decir usted a su favor? What do you, what do you got to say for yourself? ¿Qué tiene que decir por usted misma, literalmente, verdad? ¿Qué tiene que expresar? ¿Sí? Sí. Esa, esa es bien tricky, igual que el say prayers, ¿verdad? Entonces ese es say. Don't, don't say or tell me you miss the train. Perdón, ¿alguien me iba a preguntar algo? En, en la 10, pero no puede decir que le esté preguntando qué me puede decir como verdad, como true. Es como, what, no, no, no necesariamente true, pero por ti misma, ¿qué tienes que decir? What, you, what have you got to say for yourself? ¿Qué Ajá, tienes, en, su, en su defensa. ¿Qué tienes que decir por ti misma? Puede ser en tu defensa o en ah. la situación de otro, pero literal, ¿qué tienes que decir tú eh, sobre esto? Ok, ok. Entonces, por eso es say. Okay. Uh -huh. Ve okay. a este otro, la 11. Don't me, you've missed the train. Say. Don't, don't say, say or don't tell me. Say. Fíjense que aquí es tell. Tell. Es, tell. tell. es como, no me digas que perdiste el tren. O sea, es como, no me cuentes, ¿verdad? No me cuentes qué, no me traigas una historia, ¿verdad? Que perdiste el tren. Aunque me lo parafrasees, no, 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 okay. me, no me cuentes, ¿verdad? Eh, estos dos verbos son tricky, pero a medida vamos viendo los ejercicios, lo vamos, a, lo vamos retomando. Him all about the party. Say or tell. Tell. Es tell, tell. Cuéntale, cuéntale a él todo acerca de la fiesta. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer la persona? Eh, repetirle la historia, ¿verdad? Pero no le va a decir todo literalmente. Entonces, es un parafraseo, le va a contar lo que pasó. Ok, como una especie de cuento, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see. I think that we are on, on time, but uh, just complete. Circle the right item. Aquí solo es mencionarlo. I told or I said, what a beauty. I said, ¿verdad? I said, ¿por qué I said? Porque vea, incluso está entre comillas, ¿verdad? It's in, in uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, they, they, they have uh, those um, uh, like quotations, right? I told, I said, what a beauty. Uh, say or tell me all about it. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tell me, lo Tell acabamos me. de hacer, ¿verdad? Acabamos de hacer arriba un ejercicio. Ok, I said or I told. Who was that? Said. I mm -hmm. said, ¿verdad? Yo dije, ¿quién es ese? O sea, literal repetí lo que dije, ¿verdad? I am all right. I'm all right. I say you or I tell you. I say, okay. I say, I am all right. I tell I you, tell you. Fíjense que es tell you. Tell Estoy en lo correcto, te lo dije. Es como cuando algo se comprueba, ¿verdad? Yo te lo dije. O sea, no te vuelvo a repetir literalmente lo que te dije, pero yo te lo dije. ¿Sí? Ok. Let's see. 
Uh, that's incredible. No more. Veamos aquí. ¿Dónde está el no more? No more. Say no more. No digas más. O sea, no, no, no digas eh, literalmente nada, ¿verdad? Es como... No digas más. Ajá. Say no more. Ok. Tell or say the time by your watch. Tell, tell. Ok, tell, that tell. can be tell. All the time is tell. Tell me the time. Ok, will it rain? I should tell or say not. Say, ¿verdad? Say not. Porque es no literal lo que voy a decir. I can't tell or say you how glad I am. Ya hicimos un ejercicio parecido a este. Oh. I can't tell. I can't tell. No te puedo eh, contar eh, cómo me siento de contenta. Don't tell or don't say me you have forgotten. Esta es como la del tren, ¿verdad? No me digas que se te olvidó. ¿Que se te olvidó qué, verdad? Eh, no sabemos qué, pero no me digas, que se, no me cuentes que se te olvidó. How can you say or how can you tell which is the right one to use? Tell. Tell, ¿verdad? Eh, the way, the, de la forma. Entonces es tell. How can you tell which is the right one to use? Tell or say what you like. I've, I've nothing to do with it. Es como, di, ¿verdad? Di lo que, eh, lo que quieras. Literal, ¿verdad? Di lo que quieras. I have nothing to do with it. No tengo nada que hacer con ello. Okay, I know that this, uh, this is a very tricky topic because the verbs are like very similar but quite different. For example, here, just let me show you this part in order to close the topic. Of course, I invite you to continue practicing. And uh, again, say good morning, good evening, etc. Say something, say one's prayers. Aquí está lo de las prayers, right? Say one's prayers or say uh, grace. Say a mouthful, say one's feet, say so, say no more, ahí está, say no more, say for certain, say for certain. Okay. tell, tell somebody the time, normalmente este tell es cuando le voy a decir a alguien más algo, ¿verdad? tell somebody the time, eh, tell somebody one's name, tell a secret, tell somebody the way, tell eh, one from another, Tell somebody um, and somebody apart. Tell somebody's fortune. Tell somebody's soul. Tell the difference. Tell a mile off. Talk. Talk shop. Talk sports and politics. Uh, talk sense. Talk rubbish, no, nonsense, crap, etc. Speak. Remember that speak is uh, in favor of against, right? Uh, speak well or badly uh, of someone. Speak volumes, right? Or you can speak a language, right? Or you can speak uh, before hundreds of people, like giving a lecture, right? So um, we are going to continue practicing, but the time has gone. So I'm going to go back so quickly with uh, to the platform in order to solve the exercise. Okay, so just Okay, can you watch the platform now? Yes. Okay, excellent. Fine point now. Nine. Uh, the knowledge check says uh, look at the following scrambled sentences and write down the entire message using the words in parentheses. Remember to use proper punctuation. Number one, tell, tell you the movie It's a Seven Joel could. So the right way is, could you tell Joel the movie It's a Seven 
or could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven? Vean, aquí estamos utilizando el that. ¿Recuerdan? ¿Sí? Entonces es decirle, es transmitir el mensaje a Joel. Could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven? Okay, number two. It's uh, um, uh, in this order, right? So you have to put it in order and say, would you ask, ask, pedirle, verdad? Would you ask Mitch to pick me up home around four? So would you ask, remember that we use would when we need to um, request in a very polite way. Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at around four? It's at around is alrededor de las cuatro, ¿verdad? It doesn't say at four o'clock. So around four. Number three. Uh, please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled, right? So and it's the same with a dot at the end, right? Remember to write Saturday with a capital letter because if you don't write with a capital letter, that's going to be a mistake and the platform will have an error, right? Si usted no respeta la puntuación, como dice arriba, la plataforma le va a dar error. Por ejemplo, si usted escribe Saturday con minúscula, le va a dar error porque es con mayúscula. Igual los nombres propios, ¿verdad? Iva, igual eh, Joel o Mike, eh, perdón, Mitch. So, Please tell Eva, dígale a Eva, ¿verdad? Transmítale el mensaje, ¿verdad? The concert on Saturday is canceled. Number four, uh, would you ask G Jim to bring the tickets for a hockey game tonight? Ask him, pedirle, ¿verdad? Ask him. Um, number five, tomorrow morning you and so it's... Um, and scramble and you say, would you tell Anne the museum opens at 10 tomorrow morning? Right? Would you tell? Le podría decir. Um, number six, please ask Jerry to meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Please ask. Por favor, pídale a Jerry. So it's, a, it's quite easy because we are just, in this case, we are just using us. And tell, we are not using say, right? En este caso está más fácil porque solo estamos utilizando ask para pedir, ¿verdad? Y estamos utilizando tell para decir. No estamos utilizando say, okay? So, uh, I would like to know if, do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas? No. Es un poquito tricky los verbos, ¿verdad? esos cuatro. Yo les agregué un poquito más de lo que la plataforma dice porque no, usualmente van juntos y requiere de práctica el poder identificar uno de otro. But you did it great. Ustedes lo hicieron muy bien. So I will share the material for you to continue practicing, but for the platform is only that exercise, the one that you have to complete. Thank you very much for coming. I hope to see you tomorrow. Be safe. Bye. 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 Bye.